must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, we are just chilling up on this hill, looking down on Kakariko Village and also admiring Hyrule Castle from afar. We can even see Vamado, the divine beast that we need to conquer over in the Rido Village. Uh, we can also see Valrudanya way up on the mountain, or I'm sorry, Death Mountain, shooting his laser straight to Hyrule Castle. Pretty awesome. So, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, let's take a look. We have a lot of options. Uh, the next Divine Beast that we're going to do is probably going to be uh, Vamido, which will be in the Rito, Rito Village area. And there's a lot of areas that we can quest over there. As you can see, I have hardly explored any of Hebra. Um, I've hardly explored Central Hyrule. And also... I've hardly explored Gerudo Desert, uh, this southern, southwest kind of region right there. Faron Woods, we've not even really touched and that looks really cool. And also Mount Laneru over on this, actually almost the entire east coast we have hardly touched. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to be exploring a little bit and see what we find. Right here... I think I'm just going to head east because I've not explored really anywhere to the east. And uh, just see what we find. But before we do uh, start heading out there, let's get our travel companion. And also, I'm going to try summoning... Wait, for real? I can't use that here? Very strange why I can't summon a uh, wolf link right here. I don't know why... Okay, there it goes. And also, I want to try summoning the champion Daruk Amiibo again. And see if we can actually get the Ancient Beast mask today. You can only do this once per day, so... Alright, second try. Last time I got the, uh, the Stone Smasher. Almost as good as Daruk's weapon hymns itself. Only one damage less. Okay, another Stone Smasher. So I'm probably just going to leave that one for the next person. I would love to figure out what I have to do with this right here. Because I don't really know. Um, yeah, let's just keep heading. Let's, let's look around, guys. I'm just going to explore through the forest. I feel like it's been a while since we've just casually explored a forest or, or a mountain or whatever. So... Money, 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 money. It'd be cool if Wolf Link could actually go, like, pick up items and bring them to me. Alright, let's just hop down there. Is that a radish? It is! Hardy radish. This is actually behind the Great Fairy Fountain. I also need to go back to the Korok place. I remember that. There's, uh... There's a couple quests that I need to turn in at the Korok place. Speaking of Koroks... I think we found one right here. Oh man. That's actually kind of hard to get in there. So, oh, 20 seeds, nice. I actually had the foresight today, or last night rather, to make tea last night 
and then put it in the refrigerator. So now this morning I have tea and it's actually really cold and it, it's kind of nice. Lenero Road, Westgate. All right, so this is a place that I have never been. I see ore up there. We have a random traveler. Let's talk to them. Oh. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're tra you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Yiga clan? Oh. What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The, League, the Yiga clan, it's... <laughs> A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero long thought dead. Mm. I will take your life! Oh, really? <laughs> nice try, bro. <laughs> Give me the money. That's our first Yiga person that we found. A vicious sickle? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Now, where's that ore? I can't believe it took up to level 50, or up to episode 52 to find a Yiga person. That's fine. Oh, come on, man. Just a flint? Two flint. I have no idea where I'm going, so... Actually, I think there's a memory this way. What a, or somewhere around here. There's some ore up there, but it's all good. Let's go this way. Move it, Wolf Link. Jeez. This road looks really cool. I have no idea where we're going. That is the best part about this game. Whoa, is that our first golden bow goblin? We found a golden one, guys. And there he goes. But I definitely want to get his loot. For being a golden bow goblin, he died pretty fast. A sparkling dragon bone club, but... Anything else in this river, like... Magnetic, or... Of course! Oh, come on, man. I thought I could get up there from here. Maybe a little bit closer. There we go. What's in the chest? Random chest underwater. Ah, I was gonna guess a hundred rupees. Wolf Link, a little less barking and a little more attacking would be nice. Five arrows, all right. Sorry, sorry, hey, no cookie, it's alright. You're alright. Where are we? I don't know why, but when I see these boxes and stuff, I just want to break them. I'm sorry, you got a little close that time. Ten arrows. A, a baked crab or something? Okay. Hey, that's my that's that's my dog. Please stop hurting him. Another chest? Where are we? Ten shock arrows too. Actually, we should have our shrine sensor turned on just in case, guys. Of course, there's a shrine. I bet you it's right behind that waterfall, eh? The Nehru Promenade.
I don't actually have a leaf to, to blow this ship. Oh, look at that. You can see the shrine. Oh. Okay, Daru. I don't know if that, that was fully necessary, but... I just got these shock arrows, so I figured, you know. Okay, guys. Really? Really? Let's put some different armor on, just so we're a little more protected here. And I don't really like the weapon I'm using. It's so slow. Let's go back to the Master Sword. I love how it hurts them, but not me. I will get this shrine, guys. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You guys have a lot of health, though. I'll say that. Come this way, guys. I should probably save some of these shock arrows. We'll freeze that one. Okay, there goes the Master Sword. And I guess, I mean, this would do a lot of damage. And it did. He did. Wolf Link, let him come to us. I feel like the spears are like the best way to kill these guys. So much health. Which just means more loot. Come on, just die. I'm trying to switch weapons and it like pulled up the menu to switch to like a different bow. It's so annoying. Finally. Sheesh. They are protecting a shrine with their lives. I'm gonna hop across from up there and fly fly down into the waterfall. I think that would be cool. Hey guys, yeah, it's me. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, so easy to kill these guys. Just pop them into the water. Got some arrows. Man, there's a lot of guys to kill here. See, sometimes you just explore and you find the most crazy areas in this game. There was nothing telling me to go here, you know what I mean? And yet, here we are in this awesome, like, chasm, ravine, whatever this is called, with like, ancient ruins. So cool. Checking for metal. The shrine is probably right through the waterfall. My only thing is that's probably a Korok seed too right there. Seems like there's wind blowing towards me. Alright, let's go get this Korok seed. You better be a Korok seed. There we go. <laughs> ah. Sorry I'm not talking a whole lot guys, I'm just like, still waking up, to be honest. But honestly, I love playing Zelda as I wake up because it's just kind of a chill game. Ooh, is that a chest? Really? I'm taking your booty and there's nothing you can do. Another white dude with an insane amount of health. Burn, burn. Made me waste one of my best weapons. Oh well. So many rubies and topaz and all that good stuff. Alright, uh, let's climb up here. I think I don't need this armor anymore to be honest. Let's just put on our climbing gear. Maybe something like this. Just have a mix of like stuff. There we go. We're gonna be good climbers and we're gonna be quiet. Okay, yes, yeah, so I know the shrine is right there. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna turn that sensor off. We don't need to hear that beeping sound like crazy. Alright, we can go behind the waterfall, guys. We don't even have to go through it. We learned our lesson from like the second episode, remember that? I tried to go through the waterfall. We did go through it, but turns out you can just go behind it. Ta-da! Down na -e shrine. Ah, 
I'm happy we explored. Ha! <laughs> Did I just kill that bladed rhino beetle? My bad. I had no idea this shrine existed. This may be a shrine that I've never done before because I've never done all 120 shrines in the game. I've beaten the game twice and I've never done all the shrines. So this could be a brand new shrine. I don't remember ever coming over here, but maybe I have, I don't know, we'll see. Probably there's some shrines I did in my first playthrough I didn't do in my second and vice versa. And this is my third playthrough, so who knows. Three boxes. Hmm. Down na a shrine. All right. So I'm gonna guess I need three boxes to uh, have the weight necessary to make the switch go down. Alright, we got we got one there. One here. I'm just gonna set this on there as well. Oh. Nope, not quite. Yep, need one more. Oh, there it is. Well, if that's all the shrine was, it's pretty easy. Ooh, an actually good Zora sword? Thank you. I forget we're near the Zora domain. Ooh. Thank you very much. What am I supposed to do with this giant cube? I see. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Pretty easy shrine. I'll take it. Give me that spirit orb. See guys, exploring always pays off in this game. Always. I like doing the main quests. I like doing side quests. But sometimes I just want to explore and just have no goal in mind. Just other than to see what you come across. And that's what we did here. So, we didn't even get that far either. <laughs> That's all we went. Just a tiny little distance and we already found this awesome place and a shrine. Too bad we don't have the Zora armor yet. We could swim up the waterfall. I just realized something. I hope I don't drown right here. I don't really have a lot of stamina. Matter of fact, uh, let's head back to Hatono Village. Kamichi said the house that you can buy is in Hatano Village. I didn't see it yesterday, so I want to look again real quick. And then uh, after that, I'll probably just start exploring outside of Hatano. Oh, this is the ancient tech lab. Okay, whatever. We have not traveled north of Viteno at all, which is up there, basically. That would be fun to, uh, to explore. Alright, so let's look. I love this village because of where it is. Like, on, along the coast here. Is 
Is this the house? I don't think so. They'll pay. They'll all pay. Hey, you. What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me. I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. They come up from Hateno Beach and steal my sheep. If someone doesn't do something soon, I won't have any left. Say no more, princess. I will get your sheep killers. Maybe it's this house? Knock, knock. Nice little house. Yeah, I don't know where the house is. It's somewhere around here. I know there's one house that... That... Maybe, maybe the guy who's, like, building the house isn't here yet. Maybe I have to do all the sh all the divine beasts or something. I don't think I've ever come here at night. It's so quiet. There's nobody nobody walking around. Ah, maybe it's one of these weird houses. Balsam construction homes ooze quality from every scene. Explore our model homes today. Ah, here we go. It's gotta be this one over here, right? Oh yeah, this has gotta be it. Yeah. Hey, evening there. Another day, another rupee. What are you doing? Working as you can see. This old house here has been abandoned. Everyone in Tadano Village agreed we should demolish it. The old owner apparently went off to the castle to report for service. Never came back, never wrote. So away it goes. I'd buy this place. I need to talk to boss. Where is he? There he is. Oi. I'm knocking this place down. I'd buy it. Can't help you. Ask the boss. I thought you were the boss. Oh, this is the boss. Uh -huh. Evening! Need something from me? In case it's not obvious, I'm demolishing a vacant house. Times are rough. Not a lot of buyers, you know. So the villagers decided it was best just to tear it down. I'll buy it. Hmm. Whoa, get a load of young money bags. Just wants to buy it, huh? Okie do. Let me lay it out for you. See, this house been vacant for years, so the villagers had a meeting, argued, voted, and decided to tear it down. Demolition costs? With associated fees, permits, and other such details, come in at 50,000 rupees. Mm -hmm. So when you say you want to buy it, are you really talking about 50,000 rupees? You got that much? Impossible. <laughs> eh, figured. When I was your age, I had serious money problems, too. So I know how it feels all too well. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, look. Here's the deal, just for you. I'll cut you a special price of 3,000 rupees. Mm. But in return, I'm going to need you to bring me 30 bundles of wood. Building materials, you know, how it is. Anyway, you understand the terms? Then get to it. Show me what you're built of. That's a construction joke. Oy. Hudson, Carson, stop what you're doing. Oy. All right, they stopped demolishing it. Now I can buy it. Oh, it's sleep time? I thought I had the wood. Alright, so we found the house that we can buy. This will eventually become our house. Kind of cool. I would be very happy in a little house like this, I think. It's pretty basic, but, you know, it works. Alright guys, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Kind of a chill episode, but sometimes they are, you know? This game isn't always all action. 
Although we did have quite a bit of action with those lizard boys earlier. I have the rupees. Do I have the wood? I thought I had 50. Uh, yeah, I have 43. Guess I'll talk to him later. Kind of a cool little bridge going to my house, too. Alright, guys, this is where I say good night. Hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more Bra uh, Breath of the Wild content. <laughs> and as always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.